part two of the Buzz Bubble with Mike Sheldon, CEO of Deutsche LA. Now back to our host, Kevin Kelly, on the Buzz Bubble. A little about, uh, you know, everybody features and we all like to feature our TV spot work. Kind of, you know, and, and, the, and the digital, you know, something we don't talk about much. And I'd like to see if you have a perspective. I know it's hard to talk about favorite work. You have some favorite traditional work. You know, more radio, or print, or, you know, it over gets, it's overlooked. We <laughs> oh, almost, that's, that old we, stuff? We almost never talk about it on the show. So right. it, was, uh, it just came across my radar and said, you know. Well, obviously the Kevin Butler work is, is just wonderful. Like I say, it's a business asset. Um, the stuff they were doing on Volkswagen, whether it was Darth stuff or the punched up stuff that we did on uh, Super Bowl last year, uh, the was punch really was amazing. Really that, big. That, every time, because my family plays it. Right. right. It's like to bring back the whole punch buggy heritage and bringing that back and I know my family plays it and you know it's all different versions but we love that it's all the vehicles like somebody was in the car and was like well that's not a buggy and like that's not how we play right <laughs> right it's now about punch everybody yeah we wanted people to be playing this not just about the bug but the Passat and the Rutan and the Tiguan and the Touareg and the Jetta because people only thought about the car company as Beatles and Jetta so that idea was to open it up so anytime you saw a Volkswagen logo. You slug somebody, and uh, God, the letters and, and the you know the viralness of that campaign is right. Crazy. How people talked about. Oh, I remember when I was a kid, and, and of course the spot's yeah. amazing with Stevie Wonder punching uh, yeah. red one. <laughs> <laughs> on the traditional side, on yeah. any of the brands like print or or even radio, it's so so overlooked. But it's still a big part of an integrated campaign. Yeah, you know, I think the, the work that we're doing on uh, HTC, just the straightaway television work. You know, HTC, four years ago, five years ago, in this market had four people working there. Today, those, this year, they'll sell 25 million units and be a $10 billion company. And we started out in um, end of 2009 with that You campaign, where it's all about you. And, and that was, the idea behind that was, you know, Apple was all about sort of the creativity and, and for, for leisure and Blackberry Rim was all about, you know, for serious business people. And they said, where do we fall in that spectrum and how do we position our brand? We said, well, right. neither because you're, you are neither, but what you are is a, car, a phone that can be customized to you, you know, and that's the, the, their whole, uh, the, the way that th those phones work. And so that campaign just kind of naturally fell right out of that. It was what we showed in the pitch. And uh, the spots have taken on a life of their own. They're, uh, you know, they've done wonders to put them on the map. And uh, you know, we combine that with some great U outdoor boards. Okay, yeah. You know, uh, if you were flying on Virgin during that campaign and you are coming into LAX, you saw it on the top of um, oh, really? Hollywood Park as you flew in, because we knew that you know, Virgin flew on the north runways sure. at LAX, so you'd have your little coaster that had a EU logo on it, and then you looked down. So it was a fully integrated campaign That's with you know mainly traditional stuff, but right. you know all about you, all about you know their unique positioning. Terrific. So I was talking to Vonda, New York, who was very helpful. Yeah, she's wonderful. Um, and she said she's that uh, you've really uh, taken a lot of time and care in building your building out your digital department in house here. Um, what's that done for the agency? Oh man, it's just it's just exploded like everybody, you know. But we had we started with digital 15 years ago when we, you know, first started the agency. We said, how would we want to approach the business, uh, or how would our clients want us to approach their account if, if we could do it any way we wanted? Right. And at the time, Donnie said, set up the way you want to set it up. So we had digital and direct and promotions, and PR, all under one roof. So we've been doing that for a number of years, and then last year. Uh, we took all digital production and technology in-house. So we had been farming everything out to digital production houses. And sometimes it would be on time, sometimes it wouldn't. Sometimes it would be good and sometimes it wouldn't. Sometimes it would be on budget and sometimes it wouldn't. And by bringing it all in-house now, uh, we do everything. We're making good margins on it. Um, we're, being, we're able to do uh, everything on time and on budget. And uh, we have everything from the simplest banner work going through here to VW.com, you know, the enterprise level site was completely burnt down and rebuilt last year internally here. And we're doing it this year with, uh, with uh, HTC.com. Uh, so digital production technology all came in-house, search all came in-house, 
and, uh, and we're going to be doing a lot more with mobile and gaming and platforms and apps this year. So uh, we investment spent in it. We hired people and brought them in here without any, you know, natural fee tied to them. Uh, and in the first year, we made money on it. You know, not a lot, but enough to make it make sense to have it in house. Sure. So. Uh, it's just been, and now our creative people can go down to production and technology and work with those guys directly. Yeah, I was going to say, are you finding that you can pull them into the process early yeah. too? So it's not like, you know, okay, here's the idea, go make this work. It's like, hey guys, come on in. Oh yeah, so yeah, we have producers sitting with technology up. and sitting with creative, sitting with account management, sitting with strategy, and they're coming up with ideas together. And right, uh, right. it's been transformative, you know, and it's the future of our business. Digital yeah, is all of ours. absolutely <laughs> the future of our business. Yeah. The natural move into uh, mobile and, and, and maybe some great examples of what's going on on that front. Uh, we're heading into that more and more. We've got some really cool stuff on the table with a couple of our clients right now. Uh, we're going to be bringing all mobile uh, production and technology in-house as well. Wow. Um, we just think it's, you know, it's again, it's the future and we're working with some outside technology companies right now creating some proprietary stuff that we can't talk about just yet, but I think that's going to be a huge, huge part of our future. Yeah, it is. Um, and uh, so you, have you, I guess you've been doing app development, things like that, but that's the kind of stuff you're really looking to move right. right here. Yeah, I think it's the same effect so that, you know, we look at digital and say, well, it would be so great to have all these people here while we're ideating and kind of coming up with the ideas instead of doing that handing off, because that's still what's happening now on the mobile. As each new technology and new media comes out it's, it's been that okay here's our idea here's our stuff make it work you know and, and it's nice to see it all coming together yeah yeah it really is it and it's a new it's a new toy for us to play with too right. I mean, we can do TV spots in our sleep you know when you're starting to venture into these new areas and you're learning new stuff and you've seen light bulbs go off in people's heads and you're having technology companies come in and pitch us on stuff and then you kind of connect it to this thing that you're doing on dr. pepper whatever it is it's a lot of fun. It's, it's all brand new, and uh, I think everybody's just getting a real kind of kick out of that. And it's, and it's also fun to see because there's, people are all at different levels of, the, of understanding. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got the guys who are still kind of traditional TV guys, and we've got people over at the other end of the spectrum who really get it all and are very much generalists, and everybody's kind of come along at a different pace, you know. Yeah, I think we've all got to have a little of that generalist, uh, we've got to know what the possibilities are, and you know, it's, again, it's not that handoff uh, approach anymore. It's like, let's get together all in a room. These are just new palettes for us, you know, mobile and uh, various, you know, whether it's an app digital, whether it's a mobile browser ready uh, site, you know, it's just all different possibilities and touch points where you can go, oh, hey, he's going to have this in his pocket. Let's see if we can push something to him in the store while he's, you know, ready to buy. So right. it's, exactly. it's just so exciting. Yeah, we've also, um, our creative department has kind of, it's been this way for a while, but we have everybody kind of sitting with everybody else. So digital people are sitting with traditional people and the mobile people are sitting with, you know, designers and the de designers are working with experiential and and um, it's really created kind of a nice sort of um, cross-pollination cross of, of all those disciplines. Now we have experts, you always have to have the experts, especially in digital. But at the same time, you know, more and more we're becoming generalists, right. and uh, and so over time it'll it'll be, you know, it'll become more that everybody gets everything. Uh, and it's also fun to see the new guys come in uh, art school and out of you know they know all this stuff. They don't yeah. come to you with a TV spot. They come right. to you with a, an idea, and it might be a door hanger, it might be a mobile app, yeah. and it might be a TV spot. I'm a believer in the <clears throat> idea finds the medium, not like, what are we going to do for mobile? You know, get the idea and see where, or if, if all of the uh, possibilities are, are, are within the realm of executing that idea. That's it for part two of our Buzz Bubble interview with Mike Sheldon. Tune in next week for part three. You know, we'd always wanted to do experiential. You know, we'd always wanted to figure out how we could get this thing in a grocery store that would connect to that. But we'd have the ideas and they couldn't figure out how to actually get them done. Right, right. Now we actually have takes people a lot of who know. It really does. And you also have to have experts in that. You know, producers who know who to call to get that thing into right. the grocery store. Right. Next week on the Buzz Bubble.